Hey everyone, this is Azure Every Day, and I'm Chris Seferlis, Senior Principal Architect over here at Pragmatic Works. Uh, today I'm going to go over the Azure SQL Database Reserve Capacity. Uh, similar to the discussion we had the other day about um, the managed instances for virtual machines in Azure, um, these have been recently announced, and, and the idea is to help you save some money, right? So the idea is that you can save 33% compared to license included pricing. Uh, by pre-buying SQL Database V cores in a one or a three year term, okay? You can apply it to a single subscription or share it across your enrollment. So it allows you to control how many subscriptions can use the benefit, right? And how the reservation is applied to the specific subscriptions. So a reservation scope to a single subscription, basically you can apply it to that SQL Database resource within the selected subscription or resources. Uh, and then a reservation with a shared scope uh, can be shared across any subscription in the enrollment. Um, you know, it, it's got some flexibility involved, similar to managed instances. You can scale up and scale down. Um, the SQL database reserve capacity provides V cores uh, in, in the slot and the size flexibility that you need. So you can scale them up or scale them down um, within a performance tier, right? So you got to keep it in the same performance tier. If you're running standard, you have to stay in standard. Uh, and it has to stay in the same region as well. Um, without impacting your reserve capacity pricing, right? So uh, you can move it up and down in that same tier, that same region without affecting your pricing. So you, you keep that discount, right? Um, you also have the flexibility to temporarily move your hot databases between pools, okay? And single data, databases as part of your normal operations can also be moved within the same region and performance tier without losing the reserved capacity benefit. Okay, and uh, by keeping the, an unapplied buffer in your reservation, you can effectively manage the performance spikes without exceeding your budget, right? So you keep a buffer to make sure that you don't go over your budget uh, and, and, you know, basically keep an eye on those. I mean, we, we need to watch our Azure spend anyway, right? It's, it's a sensitive topic and, and we got to keep an eye on these things. Um, so it's kind of inherent to us, right, at this point. Um, you can also stack savings, you know, so with the Azure Hybrid Benefit Licensing, you can save up to an additional 55%, bringing you to over an 80% total savings um, with the, the stacking of the two uh, benefits here, right? And with Hybrid, um, Enterprise Edition customers using Software Assurance can use four cores in the cloud, so in Azure PaaS offering, for every one core that they've purchased. Uh, so, you know, it's it's uh, very advantageous to move your stuff up into Azure. Uh, you're gonna save some money by doing that and you're gonna be able to take advantage of the licenses you've already purchased. A uh, Couple things to note, um, it cannot be applied to an MSDN subscription or a non-pay-as-you-go subscription, right? So make sure you're sensitive to that. Basically, enterprise, art, uh, enterprise agreement subscriptions and pay-as-you-go subscriptions. Um, currently, it only applies to single databases and elastic pools. Uh, managed instances are still in preview, and uh, when they go to general uh, availability, which is aimed for some time towards the end of 2018, uh, currently anyway, sometimes those things change, sometimes faster, sometimes slower, um, but it will also be cover, uh, covered by uh, for managed instances as well. So um, if you've got any other questions around how that licensing works, uh, you can contact your Microsoft rep to help you out, or you know we're happy to talk through and have discussion, and understand what your needs are. We can help you use the Azure calculator and, and really drill in and, and um, understand your environment and, and what the next steps are. So uh, feel free to click the link below for more information or, uh, or give us a call. We're happy to help out. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.